shared house and actually everyone was away this weekend. I would have been alone and I would have just not coped well so being at this retreat was like yeah, it actually felt if you hear noises it's just the cat he's like sleeping he likes to sleep at the very top of my cupboard and on top of my cupboard there's a suitcase and it's like his, his jam spot so if you hear stuff it's him shuffling or like he might come down at some point and say hi but yeah what was the thing I actually felt like this was like a gift from the universe even though I'd booked it ages ago and I didn't know this but this really really diff emotionally difficult thing was gonna happen um like the morning literally the morning of slash night before this retreat but do you ever just feel sometimes like the universe is taking care of you or even like winking at you and kind of saying like you're gonna be okay or like you i don't even know what but i felt like the universe was hugging me we got there, the place was um, super, super uh, cozy and pretty, it was all like, it was like, a, it was like a bunk house, so we were sleeping in like, there were bunk beds, like without duvets and stuff, it was quite minimal, like you had to bring your own duvet or a sleeping bag, so I brought my sleeping bag, but it was really cozy, they had, it was like stone walls kind of thing, like wooden, a lot of like wooden stuff, like wooden bunk beds, and they had like a real like a uh, fireplace, like with the you put the logs in, um, and yeah, and we were just right by these fields with a lot of sheep and cows, and they had like um, there were a lot of lambs and like baby cows. And they were coming right up close near to us. I was just watching them, like in awe. Um, I was like, I don't know, I was just kind of in awe of life and like, wow. Um, and the second day we were there, it was actually really warm and sunny, which it hasn't been in the UK for, like, it felt like the first proper sunny day, I don't know. And there were so many dandelions, like, everywhere, it was just feel, it was just yellow flowers everywhere, and I find, I love dandelions, like, I find it so weird that they're considered, like, this horrible weed, and, like, people want to get rid of them, and, like, I guess it's because they, um, spread so easily because of the, uh, you know, the bit that you blow on, make a wish, the seeds spread, but it's beautiful, and it's like, um, you can use it as, like, medicine, I don't even know, but, um, yeah, they also had this, they also had, like, baby chicks and baby ducks, and I went to say hi, and, like, I've never seen like up close. Um, I've never seen, never really interacted with animals up close, like, um, like farm animals, and it just, uh, it was making me think a lot about things, because I've just been realizing how, um, just disconnected I've been most of my life from, like, the reality of just things. That's a whole other long story ramble, but, um, oh yeah, so, um, on the first night, um, one of the things I really liked was that we, we did this little fire ceremony, so they made, like, a fire pit um, outside, and they asked us to write down, um, like, what, what is
is something that you want to release um yeah that you just want to let out or let go of like just release um write that down and then after that um they asked us to write down like oh no that was it and we went out and we like burnt it in the fire and then they asked us to think of like a positive affirmation for ourselves And I think up till that point I was feeling really low and struggling but um, that exercise helped me a lot because it helped me to focus on something um, to f and I guess I can share what I, I wrote. <laughs>
opposite of helplessness. I mean, like as antonyms, <laughs> and it came up with able, capable, fit, powerful, secure, strong, competent, potent. <laughs> um, yeah. So, doing that exercise helped me sort of like. like a mission and I think it's like sometimes just giving yourself that reminder that space like if initially you you're facing something anything could be massive it could be small it could be like emotional or could be practical but like if you immediately think like I can't do this I can't do this I can't and you kind of just get panicky and scared and freak out. I think I'm in inviting this kind of you can remind yourself that actually like you can give yourself some space like a, give yourself this pause and remind yourself that you are capable you can figure it out you can actually take it one step at a time. And I've been, um, this is kind of random but related, but I've been watching these like, um, these like Instagram, Instagram reels, um, of like, <laughs> I've, I've been watching all these, these videos to do with parenting because <laughs> I'm broody. I want to be a mom. <laughs> I'm just broody. I watch all these like learning about like Montessori stuff or just like um, different ways of like reacting to things and I'm like um, just been watching these ones where like this mom, this mom like allows her kid to make mistakes without her freaking out and without her like getting angry or upset but just basically letting the kid um figure it out like figure out what went wrong and just um gently helping them with it like explaining like say that you spill a drink or something she'll just be like oh that happened because you did this or that um and like she was explaining how like toddlers or and um, they they don't just they don't just do something just to be like naughty or because it's annoying like they're just small humans who are trying to figure out how this world works and they are so curious and often if something spills or they might want to do it again because they want to see like how it works um just like gravity and liquid and like you know but it applies to so many things and um just how like how much you're allowed to participate in real life stuff and like allowed to learn and grow without sort of being told oh no don't do that or like get told off or and I was thinking about this in terms of psychology and what affects us as we grow into adults and I was thinking about myself <laughs> and I don't really know much like about how my parents were with me as a child um I mean I I have like a, a lovely parents and a, a good upbringing like a good childhood and um you know I don't um I feel like I always have to do that as a disclaimer if I say things about like <laughs> because I, I wouldn't want them to watch this and like feel like I was saying something bad I don't know anyways but <laughs> but my mum is um is quite anxious and quite um yeah just anxious basically and I wonder how much she potentially you know told told me or oh, don't do that or like kind of like they did things, maybe they did, I wonder how much 
I just got 
in this quite small room, quite near each other. It was like a, it was like she was giving us a bedtime story, you know. We turned the lights off, and there was just the crack crackling fire, and um, got so sleepy that I just went straight to bed after. Like the first night, I couldn't sleep; my head was just going crazy. I often find it hard to sleep, but the second night, um, like I think it was a mixture of being out in the sunshine. We had done some exercise, like walking up this big hill, um, and then just like that, like the fireplace and the she. It was like ASMR. She just did this meditation. Um, she's just so like genuinely caring that. Um, feels nice. I, that, yeah, I just, I actually slept a lot better last night than in ages. Um, you know, I always find if I go to a retreat or like if I spend the day in nature or at festivals, I can feel my body clock becoming more in tune with like the sun and the night, like the, the light and dark. Whereas usually at home or in the city, we're so used to like, un like uh, unnatural lighting, like constant light all the time. It's really cool to to feel how even a couple of days, if you're a little bit closer to nature, like you start to like feel that natural rhythm kick in. And I love that, and I miss that, and it's why I want to spend more time in nature, you know, when you actually become aware, like, oh yeah, it gets dark, like, oh yeah, there are stars, like, wow, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's about it, and we, we drove home. same girls that I went there with. Luckily they don't live too too far away and they were nice enough to drop me home. I actually have a driving, I've been learning to drive all this time while I've been gone and I have my driving test in like two weeks so I'm really really excited for that. Um, I can't wait to just feel that freedom I, I love driving. I I just I felt like if I if I if I'm struggling, I would just get in my car and put music on. Or I love I love being in the car when it's raining. Maybe not driving in the rain, but like sitting in the car. I'm just excited to have that freedom. And my dream one day is to do like van life for a while. So get like a little tiny van or just make a normal car into like a camper and hit the road. That would be so cool if I could like just do YouTube but on the road. <laughs> I really don't need, I don't need a lot, I'm not like a high maintenance person, um, so I could get by with, like, not that many things, and I'd find it really fun. I definitely, I definitely want to do some solo traveling, like I've never done that, well, I have actually once. I think the coolest part is that you would meet people, so in a way, solo traveling is like more sociable than not solo traveling because you you have to meet people and um, like get out of your comfort zone. And <sighs> anyways, this ended up being so long. Like I literally thought I was gonna talk for fifteen twenty minutes, and then bam, forty five minutes later. I guess it's good if you were wanting to fall asleep. Hopefully you are asleep. In which case you can't hear me. <laughs> so 
see like the background lights and stuff but I thought well the birds are singing so that wouldn't really make much sense so I did a rumble instead so <laughs> anyway I I'm still getting back into this swing of things into creating tell me what you want to see what you like and yeah just thank you so much for all your beautiful comments like I literally cried I literally was blown away by just like your kindness and I love reading your comments so much like it really moves me genuinely and I'm I, I really wish I had the energy to reply to everything because I used to have so much energy to reply to so many things but I would literally sit there for hours and hours because it would take a long time like especially if you reply to it properly like from your heart like you mean it and um like I guess I'm just I'm not forcing myself to do that right now because I'm trying to make the priority actually recording things and um I struggle with replying because like I don't want to reply to just one or two because then I get this weird thing where I'm like oh I feel guilty like I didn't reply to the others like what if they think it's for some specific reason <laughs> I'm so all or nothing I get so weird about stuff I'm like I either have to reply to every single comment or none of them like I need to chill and just like do a few and and know that you guys will understand <laughs> It's just that, like, I don't know, Ugh, it annoys me. I wish I had kind of, like, infinite hours, but sometimes if I just sit there and reply for hours on end, then, like, I get really spaced out because I've been looking at my phone for ages and I get really, like, yeah, but the short story version of it is, though, that I read all of them and they they make 